Yes, hello everyone. Uh, am I audible to all? Just let me know if I'm audible to all, please. Yes, okay. Thank you for confirming. Great. It's so nice to see so many of you today. <laughs> And I can see some familiar faces and like every time I see a lot of new names, new faces. So those who are attending the inner circle for the first time, can you just put up your name and location in the chat box and recognize yourself, please? Uh, can those of you who are attending it for the first time, put up your name and details, location in the chat box, please? So we'll wait just a couple of more minutes. Before. Yeah. So hello, Dr. Anand from Chennai. <clears throat> Lot of new names. I request all of you not to keep your mobile name. Dr. Vipin Goel. Hello from Bangalore. Uh, Dr. Priyank, Dr. Neeraj. Priyank is from uh, Ghaziabad. Hi, Dr. Ashish Mittal. Hello from Kashmir, Dr. Ajay. Dr. Vishal from Mumbai. Dr. Yashwan Patil, Parbani. Dr. Amit from Govandi, Mumbai. Dr. Sunil Prakash, hi, the dental hub. I request all of you, if possible, just put up your names, not your mobile name. Uh, Saurabh from Gorakhpur, Dr. Sachin Gupta from Delhi. Dr. Rajat from Delhi. Dr. Nirav from Patan. Dr. Nirav, if you can just put instead of Vivo your name, all those doctors who are uh, putting up mobile, uh, just if you don't mind, put up your names, please, rather than putting your uh, on the Zoom, you, you, you can edit and put your name so I can refer and it can be easy to identify everyone. Hi, Dr. Sarita from Dombivali, Dr. Sambhavi from Delhi. Hello. Great, great. So nice to see Dr. Jangit from Nande, Dr. Himanshi from Delhi, Dr. Sunil Prakash, Dr. Rukshana, Dr. Vrinda. Just if all the regular members, if they can welcome these people, just type welcome Dr. Paresh, Dr. Sachin from Sataral. Well, let us welcome all these people in our inner circle community. And let us grow as a community, help each other. So just the existing members, if you don't mind, you can just Dr. Gaurav from Ghaziabad. Welcome to the gang. Existing members, thank you, Dr. Sumit, for welcoming all along with me. Uh, just if you don't mind, can put up welcome for the newcomers and let us make them feel comfortable in this community. And I think another one or two minutes, we can start off. Great, great, great. Thank you so much, guys. And let me just pull up my presentation. And let me just share the presentation now. Yes, Dr. Kalpana, good afternoon. Yeah, I think a few more members just waiting for some one minute more. Dr. Segujia, thank you for welcoming everyone. Hello, Air Oppo F15. Right, great. So nice to see all of you. And we are in this auspicious week of Ganesh Chaturthi. So I hope that on this auspicious day and on this in this auspicious week we all can level up our game and take it to the next level
so before i start i want all of you to let me know if <coughs> you feel your current practice is going in the right direction these are the points i am going to cover i hope all of you can see my screen and are you able to see the points which i am putting up right now can you see my first slide right these are the points i wish to cover today and uh, if everything is going fine uh, i think we require around what i have calculated one and a half to two hours so please make sure you have kept that much time of to upgrade to the next level <coughs> recording in program right so how many of you feel that your practice is going in the right direction you are happy you are able to uh, generate revenue give good implantology related discussions to the patients convert the case easily if you are if you feel that you are going in the right direction just in our whatsapp group you can just put up going right or if you feel it is stagnant you just put up stagnant i want all of you to start messaging in the whatsapp group those of you who have not joined or those of you who are watching on facebook live savita is going to put up our whatsapp link on facebook live so that you people can enjoy so those of you who are watching facebook live you need to join our whatsapp group and start communicating with me those who are there already on the inner circle group i want quickly all of you to let me know if you feel that you are going in the right direction or you feel your practice is stagnant and you want something dynamic to rocket it to the next level so dr pushkar has message stagnant let's be honest guy unless we are honest and we have a open discussion nothing is going to come out of it you are just going to sit on the screen and look at my face for the next 2 hours so let's try and participate and get this rolling faster please Uh, stagnant 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 so almost all of us resonate that it's becoming stagnant and i will tell you one very big thing and if you are able to communicate with me openly i think this next few slides which i am going to share with you will be a real game changer not only in your practice but in your mindset and what i intend to tell you about it is first we need to change our mindset to get out of this stagnancy in our practice now let's start thinking that our practice ultimately of course we want to do good ethical work for our patients but we are doing it ultimately to generate revenue for ourselves and of course have a better uh, financial uh, uh, you know uh, uh, financial assets at our end so we need to start thinking beyond being a doctor as being an investor or let's say for an example let's say a property investor so what he will do he will want to buy something let's say you're buying a house or a commercial premises a shop you would want to buy it when it is just raw it has big prospects and most importantly it is very much economic and there's a good capacity for it to expand similar to a stock market guy will buy a share which is relatively cheap relatively unknown and then over a period of time it will become 1x 2x and you know he will just grow with it how many of you agree that this is how a real value investor should think buy something which is relatively unknown let it expand and grow with it and have the features ready to deliver for you and this is how you if you will forget dentistry for some time how many of you agree that this is how value investors double triple their money in a few years how many of you agree on this point on what i just mentioned buy something which is relatively economical relatively unknown and then over a period of time it starts growing and with that growth you you will also grow because you own it how many of you agree to this if you agree you put up agree if you don't agree just put up disagree so let's start thinking because our practice is stagnant and i assume by stagnancy we assume it is financial stagnancy okay the patients are not coming to us the ball is not rolling let us start thinking like investors what we want to do so i'm just waiting for 
few more answers i want this whatsapp group i am watching it continuously i want the answers so i know we are on the right track and we are on the same page so let us now start thinking like how the investors think they want something which is relatively unknown they want it that it will have the complete features which means that if i buy a commercial premises i would want that it that road should develop next to it the bus stop should come next to it buildings will come next to it and that's when the property prices which i have purchased will go up that is how i will be thinking if i buy a stock i would want that right now people don't know about it i have purchased it and after i purchase more and more people keep purchasing it so that the stock price goes up do you agree on this fact that we need to enter early to make the maximum growth and that is called as the first mover advantage how many of you agree to what i am just saying great now coming to correlating this to our dental scenario okay what we are doing is we are afraid of investing in something new okay we for example when 10 15 years back when basal implants came in 2009 there was a lot of skepticism but understanding that our patients want something flapless they want something quick i invested my time and energy to get into basal implant so that was the first more advantage and now over a period of time how after getting the expertise i have reached a stage where i am probably training you people and we are taking conducting courses patients are coming to me because i have treated some of their relatives already so this is called as the first more advantage where i was not afraid to invest in something which at that time seemed like a very good prospect because i knew from a fact that patients want it simple patient want it easy and patients want it quick so this is called as the first more advantage i see lot of people still scared about trying new things they are still scared that you know if i try basal implant that will happen if i try this so first thing is the fear mindset which is holding you back especially when you are seeing the other people benefiting from it i can pull out tons of testimonials tons of videos where the dental practice of our own doctors who have come for our courses started placing immediate load implants and when i say immediate load implants i don't mean necessarily mean basal implants i am going to show you soon soon conventional as well as basal implants how we can do in the immediate load protocol so do you feel that first the fear has to come out of our mind and the fear mindset should be out please let me know do you agree on all these things which i am mentioning do you think there is a there are bulb on movements where you feel that somewhere the stagnancy is also related to you not trying or attempting new things in your practice or getting revolutionized updating yourself please let me know now when it comes to understanding the fact we need to understand that from henceforth whenever we are attending any scientific lectures see ultimately today also we are sitting to upgrade our scientific knowledge upgrade our skill but ultimately the purpose of this is that once all this is done we can translate it to the good patient work and from the good and effective patient work ultimately the revenue should come to us so do you agree what i mentioned on the slide that henceforth we will not waste our time with due respect see i don't want to put down any branch of dentistry or anything but what i feel is that no branch of dentistry right now can give you 25 35 40 000 rupees in one minute two minutes three minutes because that's the time we require to place one single basal implant one drill and an implant so i don't know from of as least from best of my knowledge any other branch of dentistry or any other lecture or any other uh course which i can attend which can have a good time to money ratio like this i can sit and do the dentistry day in day out but do you all agree that the time to money ratio will be drastically better drastically improve the moment we put immediate load implants in our practice because that's where the patient conversion will be easiest because patients come for the and you have offered the the simplicity of the procedures those who have attended the inner circle classes before single drill protocols friends single drill protocols and immediate load solutions hardly the surgeries take 2 minutes 3 minutes 5 minutes for a single tooth patients are amazed by the wow factors you know we when if you go to buy a car you want to look at the features and you want to feel that wow in you don't you feel the patients will be wowed 
when you do the surgery painless quickly and give them the teeth in 3 to 5 minutes so the sole purpose of our meeting today onwards in inner circle if i may declare should be keeping the financial aspects in mind we will not waste our time getting into lectures seminars webinars where we are only discussing the same old things of course you can keep up, uh, you know revising i am not saying no but if your problem right now is stagnancy and you feel that is the pinch point with all due respect you finding mb2 canal is not going to help you solve that problem how many of you agree to the statement i just mentioned just put up agree in the comment box how many of you agree to the statement i am making i know it's a bold statement i don't want to put down any other branch but this is the fact unless we accept the fact right now what i am talking we are not going to move ahead we we are not going to get out of the stagnancy we need procedures which are simple which are easily acceptable and once done they give us good quick revenue how many of you agree to this another mistake what all of us do is and listen to this point very carefully listen to this point very carefully how many of you do your implant consulting like this and if i may permit on a public podium to use the words orion system let's say ostem 35 40000 rupees aden system israeli 25000 rupees noble biocare x amount how many of you are doing your implant consulting like this don't you think you are making the biggest mistake of your life by trying to sell the implant and not your expertise because if i sit with a patient for half an hour one hour and i tell him that the ostem example i'm just taking a name nothing against any company hands folded okay i don't want to put down any company let's say xyz company is good for you we are going to do this this is the best system don't you think the patient will come out of your practice go to the other doctor ask what is the cost of xyz system and the moment that doctor gives a better quote you have lost the patient all your 45 minutes one of our job so what you are doing right now is you are trying to categorize the implants this is the quality x, x quality implant this rate y quality implant y rate now coming back to your investor mentality what if i tell you if you are a patient that there is a r line series of implants which is unknown by the patient remember this not many doctors know about it not many patients know about it i explain them that these are having all the features let's say you want to buy a car okay and you like a mercedes benz 80 lakh rupees car amazing car looks good superb features superb support you go back home thinking it's a bit expensive but i would love to have it and now you find a car which is having all the same features better looking drives nicely gives a good support to you there's a good support around it there's a good vibe around it the moment you take a test drive you are loving it and that is at a 30 for 30 lakhs discounted i mean the mercedes benz 80 lakhs and this is a 20 30 lakh car and then when more and more people come to know about it obviously they are going to rag rate the price and you are going to have this first mover advantage similarly don't you feel that if i offer my patients the r line series implants which are not known but i tell the patients this is a good feature this is a good feature i can do it flapless this is the design of the implants and you are getting all the features of an expensive implant a 70000 implant in this but it is relatively unknown but because i know about it and i am your well wisher i am offering this implant to you do you think that this is going to be like a value investment statement you have made to the patient you have purchased something economical it has got all the features and now you are offering it to your patients who are not knowing who can probably not counter check it with the other doctors and you have got this advantage of using a system which is amazing relatively unknown not many patients have even googled about it but you have explained the features and they want to then they understand that it's economical and good for you and you show some cases you have done and probably you have an upper edge how many of you think that just by doing this having this investor mindset you have an upper edge and let me tell you this implants have got all the necessary approvals it is the largest among the largest implant manufacturing uh, companies in the world 
they are making israel israel is known for its technology all those who know about missile technology uh, infrastructure technology all those who know how the latest equipments are produced 90% r&d is done in israel it's not like it's like a foreign place so they are made in israel we got beautiful manufacturing unit value for money products the cost of most of the products which we are going to discuss soon are almost 20 to 30% lesser than the similar products in the market and as support we are always available for you how many of you think that this could be something like a value proposition to you if you agree you just put you agree in the group you can put up agree if you deny i respect your opinion definitely you can start doing what you are doing take ostem this rate take noble biocare this rate take zai at this rate whatever you are doing please continue if it's working for you but those of you who agree to me just put up in the whatsapp group quickly i'm continuously monitoring the whatsapp group i would look forward to listening to your answers as well do you think there's a bulb on moment right now and you have never thought about implants this way and you are always offering the implant as a product and not as your expertise because with airline you are offering your expertise flapless immediate loading make in israel relatively unknown it's a value investment for you and your patients great 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 so many of you are green good to know and let us come to this complete range of implants which is by the dentist designed by me from my years of experience and i will show you various scenarios how one system can help you provide almost solutions in any kind of cases so how many of you are excited just put a bio bring it on in the comment box and let us start the scientific part of how our line implants provides a complete range to you for your implantology practice just type bio bring it on okay get your hands moving get your mind activated we don't want any of you to sleep okay so these are these amazing implants which are powered by impact impact has got a complete range of r line series and they come in two different formats which is a single piece and a two piece so for the newcomers when an implant the entire implant and the abutment is in one In 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 a joint, it's called a single piece implant. And when the implant part, which is the fixture part and the abutment, they are two separate components. They are called as two piece implants. It cannot get simpler than this. Okay. So here are talking about the cement, the single piece implants, which are of two categories. The first category, which you see over here, okay, which you are seeing over here, these are the cement retained category. which means that this implant the abutment and the fixture is one part and the crown comes cemented on it so these are the bcs and qs implants i will not go much into detail i think all of you are aware of it the compressive rough surface implant and the single piece polished implant lot of us are interested in this screw retained which is the bcs mu that is the polished single piece implant and the rough surface implant which is in single piece but having this screw retained option which gives you the retrievability option in immediate load basal implant cases right so for the newcomers let me quickly just brief you one more time about the single piece and the screw retained options okay and for the conventional or the two piece powered by impact the r line series introduces two different implants so these are called as the internal hex implant so the connection over here is hexagonal it is hexagonal as denoted over here okay this is hexagonal and you can see here the hex connection which means the fixture and the abutment connect with it instead there is a hexagonal connection and there is another system in the conventional or the two piece implant series which are the conical implants which means this design has a conical internal connections all your internal hex 
the hex connection they are compatible with your israel brands which means all the available companies right now which are make in israel are compatible with the internal hex and all these companies which are conical which are korean made like dentium osteum are compatible with this chc implant that is the csi or the conical hex connection is it clear to all of you so which means if i have to just put up again everything the impact from israel produces a specific r line series of implant which is designed by dr rohan virani based on my years of experience with conventional as well as basal implants it comprises it comprises of single piece implants which are cement retained and screw retained called as kos and bcs mu implants and it comprises of two piece implants which are similar to your conventional implants which have a fixture and abutment and they have two different types of connection one is called the internal hex connection and other is the conical connection is this slide clear to all can all of you just take a quick screenshot of this and keep it for your reference i want all of you to screenshot this and keep it for your reference is it clear to all can all of you just type clear in the comment box is this clear or is any confusion there is this clear to all great 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 right right so i see a lot of doctors they are using the zoom link to comment i request because it will be difficult for me to track the zoom i request all of you to message on the whatsapp group which we have created for facebook viewers who have not joined the whatsapp group uh, savita is messaging the whatsapp link you can join and you can also participate actively in our discussion okay so is everyone clear with this now coming to the internal hex itself we have two different design one is called as the dsi which is the dental spiral implant and other is the ccih and all of this we are going to go in detail with the advantages disadvantages but unless you get this terminologies perfectly you will remain confused so is all of you clear with this classification which i have given you in internal hex we have so two piece conventional implant internal hex has two designs dsi and cih is everyone clear with this great okay so now let us go ahead and look at this table now here so we are talking about the two piece implant system we are talking about the two piece implant system which comprises of a uh, internal hex implant okay which comprises of the internal hex implant so both these implants have a internal hex both these implants have an internal hex but as you see over here from the drawing that this is called the cih because it has a conical design it has a hex inside okay and friends this is suitable for your cortical penetration so all those who are well well versed with the ttphil technique or any other similar technique where the rough surface two piece conventional implants are perforated in your cortical the nasal cortical the pterygoids your lingual cortical your bypass this is the implant for you my friend and let me tell you the cost also it cost around 2500 rupees which is very economical 3000 rupees with your abutment and there are various packages of course which make it even more economical this i have told you is the mrp 
of one implant. So this is the cost of your CIH as well as your dental spiral implant. This is nothing but similar to your Edin Norris and all those similar implants which you have been seeing this kind of a design. Okay. I hope it is clear. So internal, so conventional implants got an internal hex. One is the conical one, which is suitable for your cortical penetrations. And the other one, which is suitable as like how you use any other conventional implant system in the market. So this is the conical one. And this is the one which are flat apical end. And then we have, and then we have the internal conical connection here you see the active design the passive design and the hydro and a hydroxy appetite design so this is compatible this group over here is compatible with all your conical systems like ostem i hope it is clear to all is everyone clear what is dsi so dsi and csi these are internal hex implants dsi and csi are internal hex implant and CSI, active, passive, and HA coative are all conical connection implants. Is it clear to all? And all these implants are two piece implants. Is everyone clear about this? Can you quickly type clear so I can move ahead in the comment box? Is it clear to all? We're going to soon see how to use them in various scenarios and how you can make a decision which implant to use where. So to simplify it, DSI and my choice of implant is always the CH, CSI, uh, CIH and the DSI. So conical internal hex, I like to work with the hexagonal system. Why? If you're doing immediate load protocols and you're really putting a lot of pressure, any conical implant after a particular pressure, it will flower, it will break. It's called flowering of the implant, which will never happen in any hexagonal design. So if you ask me, I my personal favorite for immediate load with two-piece implants is either the CIH if I want to perforate the cortical or the DSI if I don't want to perforate the cortical. Is the indication very clear about the two-piece CSI, CIH and DSI implant? Great. Okay. Can we move ahead? Just can we move ahead? Please confirm. Is it clear to all? Let us start seeing the cases now. How to start using them. Okay. So now we will discuss in this ecosystem what will be the indication and contraindication of various implants. Can all of you recognize which implants are this in the comment box? Are these basal implants or conventional implants? So any resolved jaw any resolved jaw where placing a conventional implant is difficult. My choice of implants are basal implants. When I say basal, that could be a single piece BCS or KOS implants. I hope it is getting clear. You are not getting confused. Whenever the patient has any medical history, which where we cannot demand very unrealistic procedures, they cannot open the mouth wide. You will sit and take open tray impression post, take a jig trial, put in multiple screw, take an x-ray, get back to the lab. Wherever we don't require such complex procedure, patient has a gag reflex. My choice of implant is a simple crown and bridge work with single piece basal implants. Wherever the patient requires simplistic solutions, my choice of implant is always in a resolved jaw basal implants there will be situations like this wherein if you see carefully and if you are able to identify now you can see here this case not done by me some implants are ailing and failing the upper jaw we have replaced it with basal implants and in the lower jaw these are all your dsi implants can you see how beautifully in the same case your DSI implants, your multi units on top of it. So upper jaw is cement retained, lower jaw is screw retained. Can you make out how in with this one system you can solve complex issue? Now, why I decided to have screw retained in the 
bottom. Why I decided one job, basal, one job, screw retain. If you see carefully, listen to this very carefully and try and understand. You see, whenever you see the inter arch space less than 14 or 16 millimeter, imagine I would have put a basal implant over here also. Do you think there would be any space to give a good proper prosthesis? So one of the indication for a screw retained prosthesis is reduced interocclusal clearance. Especially, you know, you'll do a single tooth case lower seven, you will see that the, there is no space between the upper seven and lower seven. A reduced interocclusal clearance is one of the strongest indication, apart from retrievability, to do a screw retained or a retrievable implant solution where you don't have to cement a crown. For cementing, you require minimum four millimeter of abutment height, and then you require more space to make a crown. How many of you, you like this simple tip, which I've just mentioned? One of the indications for screw retained prosthesis, apart from retrievability, is reduced interact space. So in this case, if you see, if I would have done an upper and lower basal, I would have been struggling for good space over here. Do you all agree to this? Do you all agree to this? And is it simplifying your everyday problem, the way of thinking? Upper jaw, implants have failed, replace them with basal implants, do the case easily. Lower jaw, there is too much of bone. Easily you can place the DSI two piece implants, make a screw retained prosthesis. How many of you love this simple solution and the simplicity of what I'm talking? Great. Okay. Look at this. Another case. These are single piece multi unit implants. I hope you're not getting confused. Now, this case, we place the implants, single piece implants, which I'm going to again discuss in detail how to place it. So, need not worry. So these are all your single piece implant with the multi-unit connection. Now, what is the benefit of multi-unit doctors? Whenever you have an implant and you have an abutment, you don't want to load it immediately because all your stress, stresses will be concentrated at the implant abutment junction. The moment you place a multi-unit over there, so this is your implant, you are converting the internal platform to an external platform as you see here the internal platform of the implant the attachments are going to come over here have been shifted externally and this itself limits the bone loss in any immediate load conventional implants i see a lot of immediate load cases doctors are not unit using multi-unit friends using multi-unit is almost compulsory if you want to avoid restal bone loss in your immediate load two-piece cases so this, as you see over here, because <coughs> one, I wanted to do this case flapless, it was a routine case, single drill, which is your 1.8 drill, your 1.8 drill, your 1.8 drill, okay, use your 1.8 millimeter drill from your R-line surgical kit. Now, this drilling has to happen four millimeters more, which means if you want to place an implant of 10 millimeter, you need to drill 14 millimeters. Please keep this point in mind. For placing, yes. a, for placing a single piece MU implant, you need to drill four millimeter more. The choice of implant, how we decide, remains the same. If the bone is resolved, you place a BCS implant. If the bone is healthy, height and width are good, you place a compressive implant. If the bone, when if you're selecting a bone quality which is poor, you when you are placing a compressive implant, instead of 3.75, you use a 4.1 compressive implant. You increase the diameter of the implant you are selecting. As simple as that. Drilling protocol, single drill, 1.8 millimeter in the maxilla. In the mandible, sometimes after the 1 millimeter drill, you require a 2.0 mm twist drill. And that's it. And you place the implant. So you drill 14 millimeters. If the bone quality is very hard, you require a 2 millimeter drill. 
while drilling if the bone is soft you pick up a 3.75 qs mu implant if the bone quality is soft you put up you pull up a four or it's an extraction socket or something like that you pick up 4.1 qs mu implant so for the reference of all savita is going to put up the list of all the mu implants in the group just dr savita please put up the brochure of mu implants in the whatsapp group so all of you get a clear picture about the diameter and lens available but the drilling protocol as i am explaining is very simple just drill 4 mm more is everyone clear with the drilling protocol of single piece mu implants just type clear and someone has put up inaudible am i inaudible Uh, so those of you who are unable to join you can uh, give them the facebook link dr chetan right if they are unable to join us okay for doctors who are attending right now do you think that this is going to simplify your game that with one kit or one simple drilling protocol you are placing bezel when it is required and you are placing retrievable implants when you require you are in total control along with the amazing support and economics mu implants bcs and ko qs mu implants also cost 2500 rupees they also cost 2500 rupees you pick up any implant system in the market friends just the multi unit cost 4000 rupees and here you are getting a system which i told you your value proposition with the multi unit so you can even if the patient is asking even if the patient is asking you know about multi units is knowledgeable no doctor can beat you in the pricing in fact my strategy would be to in fact charge premium to the patients but if you are not able to charge that at least you have a competitive edge where your cost of the pricing has gone down your simplicity price of the procedure has gone up do you agree that this could be the next value proposition where with one kit you don't have to buy separate kits okay and i'm very good soon going to show you live right now the different implants and the kits right now are you agreeing to the point which i'm making how are you liking it so far it's going to really change your ball game tomorrow onwards okay now coming to the next case if you see here now the upper implants are cih implants so these are conical internal hex implants as you see over here i have used them to perforate wherever i felt the opposing cortical this increases your bone to implant contact and the initial torque and in the lower if you see these are all dsi implants no need to perforate any cortical place them like your conventional implants now what is the drilling protocol for this i am soon going to tell you but this implants also require one just one or two drills maximum very rarely the third drill where the bone is very hard which i am soon going to show you live right now so the spill protocol which we have been mentioning in all our previous master class and those are the simplified protocol in immediate loading now if you can connect the dots in walls why it is called simplified it is the same thought process to do any case which means all cases flapless all cases immediate loading wherever required there is an option of delayed loading but otherwise in general all cases simplified uniform protocol treatment planning is the same we are not changing our treatment plan we are not saying here i will do hard tissue grafting here i will do sinus grafting our treatment planning protocols are the same our drilling protocols are the same just depending upon which implant you want to put let's say you want to put a ch implant i will drill as per the ch implant place the ch implant and i will engage the opposing cortical that is a two piece implant if in that same place if i want to place a mu implant i don't want to take the headache of placing a ch implant selecting the multi unit placing the multi unit checking the parallelism i want to take it easy on myself i will pick up an mu implant and place it what is the contraindication or drawback of single piece mu implant technique sensitive for all those doctors who are very uh, you know finicky i want exactly this angle 
I want to get the perfect parallelism. You are and your skills are not developed. Then you go for the two piece implant, select the multi unit, or those doctors who are not comfortable in their own skills. They are not sure whether I will get a good torque every time. You are not sure you want to do immediate loading, delayed loading. Go for the two piece implant. Keep your options open. So can you see that diversity in what I am talking right now? Though the protocol is same, we are not talking about doing bone graft, sinus lift, ring split. We are talking about using an implant system or having the implant system drill and place the implant as per what you have decided for that case. Uh, Dr. Sumit is asking why we are drilling 4 mm millimeter bore. Madam, it is required because there is some soft tissue and you also require some space for the collar of the multi-unit of the single piece implants, which I'm going to show you. So to simplify things, just remember the rule that you need to drill 4 mm more for your single piece. Even the neck is around 1.2 uh, millimeters. So you require to give space for all of it while placing the implants. So for the, and when I say four millimeter more drilling, it is for your KOS compressive implants. For the BCS implants, you are not drilling four millimeter more, madam. Please understand. For your BCS implants, you will pick up the implant like you put pick up for it. I'm talking about the compressive implants, the BCS MU implants. If you drill till 17, you pick up a 17 mm implant. But for your compressive implant, your KOSMU, you need to drill 4 mm more. I hope it is clear, Dr. Sumit. Another thing you need to remember that the KOSMU implants, they are not bendable. They are hardly bendable. But your BCS implants, you can bend them like anything, which I'm soon going to uh, show you very soon. Okay. Which makes sense because if you have good bone, why would you place an implant in the wrong angle and then try to bend it? So if you are having a good bone situation, we always go for KOS implants. When the bone is compromised, we are using BCS implants. And when you're having BCS implants, you need to bend them, which is a property of our BCS MU implants. Is everyone clear or getting confused? <coughs> okay. DSI implants. Place them like your conventional implants over here. Okay, as you see over here, you place them like your conventional implants. And wherever I want to perforate the cortical, I use a CH implant. Place your DSI implants. Select your multi unit of your choice. Okay, I'm going to give you a small brief about multi units also. And then place them and then you do the remaining steps, which I'm going to show you for taking the measurements and giving the processes also. Okay. So another case wherein you see the upper are multi-unit implants, single piece multi-unit and lower are basal. So if you see here in this case, there were going to be a lot of extractions over here. Can you see this? And I wanted to end the lower hardly any one or two teeth, three teeth, they were mobile, not expecting much of tissue shrinkage. So in the lower job, we have done with the basal implants and in the upper job, we have done the single piece MU implants. Can you appreciate how the versatility of the system will help you in doing almost all type of cases, all type of situations? If I would not have got good torque after placing multi-unit, I can even go for a delayed loading, which means I'll keep the implants in the mouth, ask the patient to wear a denture over it with a soft relining material and just continue and lower the patient can have the teeth. Are you able to understand the versatility of the system? How many of you are enjoying? Can you just put up in the comment box? And soon I'm going to show you the different types of implants and the prosthetic steps. Any doubts, confusion so far? Can you, if there's any confusion, you can just, uh, you know, raise your hand and we can. <coughs> is there any confusion so far? How is it going so far, friend? Great, enjoying, great. Great. Uh, thank you, Dr. Ashi Ashiraf, Dr. Faisal. I'm happy you are enjoying. Dr. Maruti Dental, Imanshi. Great, Dr. Ankur. Yeah, so Dr. Ankur, the cost of MU with the abutment is single piece MU with abutment is 2500 rupees only. That is what I was telling you that just the multi units of current available systems in the market cost around 4,500, 5,000 rupees depending which brand you are buying. 
and here the implant with the multi unit is 2500 rupees can you make out this value proposition which i told you in the first two three slides are you able to correlate the dots now <coughs> right so being a dentist i understand our pain points i wanted something precise i wanted one system we don't want to buy multiple system multiple kits multiple drivers we want one system all solutions with us and by the way these are certified by german uh, germany so what happens is like for example iphone they manufacture in china okay similarly these are german implants which are manufactured in israel so you can get all the quality and as i already mentioned the manufacturing unit is top notch among the best and largest among the largest in the world so you can be assured about the quality and i have been personally using it and it's common sense i will not provide uh, the years of my hard work and name to any company which does not live up to the mark so you can be rest assured about it another very good point put up by dr atul is how many mu implants so this is another advantage the moment you start placing mu implants your number of implants reduce which means if you are using basal only that's a full bcs case you require only 8 to 10 implants but if it's a qs implant case and the bone quality is good your inter implant distance are good you can go as low as 6 to 8 implants so that is another good doubt uh, dr ankur uh, dr atul thank you for asking where you can not only save money but really the things go really fast and patients are amazed so you can do all just six implants or if required eight implants maximum especially if your sinus is like uh, reaching uh, till the area of five you are able to place qs implants nothing like it i don't even think about the terrible a lot of current generation doctors or people who are taking courses you know you need to put terigoid it's not that see our aim in life is not to put a terigoid implant a cygomatic implant our aim in life remember this line implants is about force distribution if you are able to place your implants properly up till the second premolar area you get a nice compressive implant over there all are in good torque trust me guys there will be lot of cases you don't require the terigoid implant also and you do well so thank you for asking this i hope you are clear another advantage of using mu implants is your number of implants you need to you can come down and if you are getting good number of implants till the second premolar you can even avoid your terigoid implant great thank you for asking this yes meena madam you are right 6 to 8 uh, for both upper and lower you are right ma'am nice to see you after long ma'am right can we move ahead please if all of you confirm can i move ahead i hope it's not getting confusing and all of you understand the amazing things which are happening right now and how big this change is going to be in your practice drilling protocol for mu i will quickly repeat if you are using a bcs implant it is exactly how you place any basal single piece implant if you are in doubt you want to see videos a lot of online videos i have put up just search for dr rohan birani on youtube you will see lot of videos where you see me placing basal implants the drilling protocol is same if you are using a kos mu implant then you need to drill 4 mm more as simple as that okay jolly i hope you uh, have got the drilling protocol now dr jolly right yeah great 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 okay so let us move ahead now okay and again you see such kind of cases which we just discuss no need to place unnecessarily for boosting your ego or taking facebook life no need to place terigoids of course if you place there is nothing wrong in it and you can always say that i would not have cantilevered if i would have put a terigoid implant and all that that's fine absolutely fine but as i repeatedly say i like to keep my life simple it's not that i don't know how to place a terigoid implant but i like to work with simplistic procedures bottom line that's it i don't want to do fancy stuff when it is not needed so when it is needed of course i will do the most complicated surgeries but when 
life opportunity provides me so much of good bone second premolar to second premolar i will not complicate my life <coughs> single implant system place the implant qs 4 mm rib give a retrievability option because there are so many extraction socket in the lower if you see here i place single the bone quality was poor for the cost management point because the prosthetic lap part also the cost will go up the moment you start handling the screws so to keep keeping that in mind screw retain prosthesis in the top cement retain in the bottom welding wire given in the bottom given a temporary after healing change it to permanent and upper is a screw retain any which ways so upper i am directly made the permanent prosthesis because i had a retrievable option lower i made a temporary acrylic prosthesis 6 to 6 which hardly cost me 6 800 rupees after really i changed it to permanent how many of you find the simplicity and the amazing output you can provide with one system to all your patients are you finding this amazing do retrievability where is not needed where you want to do cost cutting you just logically use your hand do your cost cutting and your patients will be really happy trust me this patient has already referred me three more patients from his family and this case was done just 6 months back it's doing amazing he's a non vegetarian he doesn't listen to me i always see supali stains on his teeth he's eating even the hard food amazing results now dr himanshi madam is asking uh, if we want uh, to place the bcs implant in 2627 region where will we get stability madam in that case you have to engage the floor of the sinus or use a wide body implant bcs so what happens is if you have a sinus which is pneumatized you get a multi cortical engagement wherein when you use a 5.5 bcs implant you not only engage the sinus cortical but you also engage the palatal as well as the buccal cortical so that is how you should handle but today i am restricting my discussion to the system application we are not going into all these things but of course at a later date if other people want in the group for also as an announcement specially for the newcomers the number you need to note is trista enterprise that is 93215334930 i'll repeat it 93215334930 this is the number which you need to note and in case if any one of you wants to buy the textbook have offline courses with us or have a hd video library where you see my surgeries and also get more lectures this is the number you can contact we are coming up with a prosthetic textbook also which we will announce very soon okay so i have hope dr imanshi you are clear with your doubt and we can move ahead <laughs> can we move ahead guys great okay so here is a case now which i present to you okay see how the cost cutting happens and how we can save money do good work and still make the patients happy and also on here we have done the upper basal implants obviously because if you see here just like himanshi madam asked right now the sinus was pneumatized was not sure of getting good torque so i used a pcs 5.5 in this region over here okay lower jaw lower jaw we have used this screw because there was an extraction socket i have used the bcs and kos mu implants on the left side this patient had already placed the ostem implants from a center outside so all i need to do is take my csi implant from impact take the components from them and finish the case that's how the system compatibility helped me to cut down the cost and this patient was really stuck up but then we could help her manage not only this left side where she was stuck up but also did the immediate root solution on the right side she was surprised that we did the entire work in 10 days time very happy okay this is how the stagnancy of your system will go away the moment you offer simplistic solution not complex solution moment you have peace of mind while working you are not confused whether i should do that this and you have the complete range of options available to to you at an economic price do you think that if you apply what i am telling you your stagnancy in your practice may dissolve 
just by applying this that way and the moment you start telling your patients i can give you teeth in 3 days 5 days 7 days 10 days time give them simplistic solution do you think it will be a turn around story it's just a matter of time that patient will go and tell two other guys that you did something which the other doctors were not referring you used an implant system which not many doctors are knowing with the unique features do you think your tank stagnancy can dissolve with this strategy if you agree you can put up yes if you don't agree i respect your no please answer me thank you thank you yes yes thank you okay now coming to why we should use arline implants let me give you a live demonstration even the newcomers i think it will be a good input so i will have to give a live i just switch my uh view over here and we'll switch to a live view right now all of you so i have stopped my video and uh, you can now focus on the video which is going on right now are you able to see me back now guys can you all see me for the live demo you just focus on the table please focus on the table i want to show this uh just give me a probe pro 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 just get a pro are you guys able to see my screen now are you able to see me can you see the bcs implant which i have put up on the table no sir no okay madam just let me recheck on my settings kuldeep yeah just give me a minute dr kuldeep please are you all able to now see the bcs implant no sir nothing visible oh, just hold on now can you see madam yes sir great okay so why are line implants uh just get me one implant from any other company bcs okay so as you see let me just put this implant specially for the newcomers now can all of you identify quickly which is this silver implant quickly all of you quickly identify which is the silver implant which my probe is pointing to right now multiurid cos this one madam the, the white no, this one the silver one the where the probe is there this implant bcs bcs is that this one is multi unit uh, that is multi unit cause perfect 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 <laughs> okay perfect okay i request all of you to answer in the whatsapp group it will be difficult there are more than 100 people right now attending <laughs> and many more on facebook will be difficult if all of us start talking so request all of you to just whatsapp in the group i am watching the whatsapp group continuously for our facebook doctors who are watching on facebook and they are unable to enter uh, they, they have not entered i request them to enter in our zoom link no voice sir uh 
can't hear you now are you able to hear me are you able to hear me now yes 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 dr das i will show you cih implant also please just hold on let us not get confused right now let us finish the single piece implants so here if you see what i just quickly repeat so all of us the cement retained single piece implants okay kos and bcs and the screw retained single piece implant qs and bcs is everyone able to understand this okay now let me take away all the available implants and put up a random implant from the market this is not to put any other brand down but you see the from my years of experience the way this implant has been designed you see this sharp apical tip this will help you placing the implant specially where you are doing the slopes so whenever you are doing uh, you know there are areas where you will see that you have made the drill but your implant is slipping but the moment you are working in the slopes because of this sharp apical tip you see your penetration of the implant will be easier so that's the first advantage come closer again please if you see here the number of threads are way beyond what are available in the market for any other similar brand right now what why you, you may be getting because this is a 3.5 14 standing against the 3.570 if you see here the number of threads are 1 2 3 4 5 and here the threads are 1 2 3 4 5 but as the implant length goes on increasing the number of threads keep on increasing which means you get not only a cortical penetration but a cancellous compaction which will give you additional torque in all our osteoporotic jaws the bending of the implant is amazing i have already shared a video in the inner circle group on the bending of the a uh, single piece implants if you have not watched it i can just share the video again please do watch the video to appreciate the bending and just come closer if you look at the abutment very closely you will see a lot of serrations on the abutment can you make out the serrations on the abutment here now this serrations will help you to place the impression cap properly and more importantly our prosthesis are all cement retained so when these serrations are there your retention will improve on our prosthesis so this is a quick note about the single piece arline implants coming to the instrument to be used the hand grip for this these are called the hand grips this is your hand grip for your cih now this single piece implants you can see the collar over here single piece mu implants can you see the collar over here this is called the collar of the multi unit they are available in two collars 1.5 and 3 mm for all practical purposes we use only the 1.5 mm collar we use only the 1.5 mm collar and the corresponding hand grip for this this is how it will go let's take it apart this is how it will go okay let me now show you the a uh, conventional single piece implants also okay so quickly in the comment box quickly in the comment box all of you i want you to specifically write which implants are this which implants are this so that there is no confusion regarding the identification is everyone able to identify the silver implant and the gold plated implant anodized implant and they are every able, able to identify these are the impact r line series bcs and qs implants great thank you dr atul coming to the next implants can you identify the bcs mu and the qs mu can you identify this okay the drilling protocol for bcs mu remains like any other bcs implant the drilling protocol for qs mu you have to drill 4 mm more i quickly show you the surgical kit also so this is the r line simple surgical kit you see the four drills over here you see the four drills over here 
So first is the conical drill, which is your 1.8 mm drill. Can you see this long and short? Okay. Next, you have the conical drill, which is 2.6 millimeter. And next, you have the twist drill. And next, you have the twist drill, which is 2 millimeter and 2.6 millimeter long and short. For all practical purposes, for this entire category of implants, you require, for all these implants, you require your all these four implants, you require your pilot drill 1.8 and your twist drill. That's it. For the maxilla, most of the case, you require only this drill. That's it. 1.8 drill. For the mandible, you will require the pilot drill and the twist drill. So let me repeat again. If I am placing the single piece BCS implant in the maxilla, I will use only the 1.8 drill. If I'm using the same implant in the mandible, I will use the 1.8 drill and the 2 millimeter drill. If I am using the multi-unit implants, again for maxilla, I will use 1.8 drill and for the mandible, if I'm using the multi-unit implants, for the maxilla, I will only require the 1.8 drill and for the mandible, I will require 1.8 and 2 millimeter drill. Which means that if, as you saw, the drilling protocol is simple. Only one drill for the maxilla, two drills for the mandible. The only point you need to remember is for KOS MU, you need to drill four millimeter more. Is this clear and simple to you all? Can all of you just consent to me and put up in the group that you have understood the drilling protocol for both the cement retained and screw retained R line series of implant? Full length, sir. Everywhere full length. Dr. Yashwant is asking, should the twist drill be used full length or half length? It is full length. If the bone, if the bone is soft, you always switch to a slightly wider implant, which means if I drill for a QS implant and I find that the bone quality is poor, then I switch to a wider implant, which is 4.1 or 4.2. If I feel that the bone quality is good, very good, then I remain to a 3.75 implant. Now, sometimes, don't get confused. Sometimes if the bone quality is poor, you may only put a 1.8 mm drill. So those of you who are confused, what you should do, you put a 1.8 mm drill, try to place your implant. If your implant is not going, you just have to drill more. You switch to a 2 millimeter drill. Now, why we are switching to a twist drill? The reason is the twist drill has a blunt apex. So you will not create a new osteotomy. You will just widen your previous osteotomy by 0.2 mm. Is it very simple and easy or is it confusing? Dr. Himanshi, why 4 millimeter? Don't worry about why. Just do the drilling protocol. It will keep your life simple. For KOS MU, I have seen based on my experience, it requires 3 to 4 millimeters more drilling to get your multi-unit more precisely to the gingival level. Otherwise, what will happen? Your implant will get stuck up above the multi-unit. That's what I told you that the MU implants are more technique sensitive. So all those people who are not well versed with doing all these things, you can, you know, use your conventional implant, then place the multi-unit based on the collar and do all those things. But if those who can believe me, just drill four millimeter or more, and you will see that everything works out well. I hope everyone has agreed and I can show you now the conventional or the two-piece implants. Can we go ahead? Everyone is clear. I hope everyone is clear. Can you just put up in the uh, WhatsApp chat if it is clear and we can move ahead and show you the conventional or the two piece implants also. So as I explained earlier, the two piece comprises of two implants which have a hexagonal design. So as you see here, this is your CIH implant, which has a sharp apical tip. And this is what has to penetrate the cortical if you want to penetrate the cortical. And this is for you placing your implants in your cancellous bowl. Just give me a paper and pen, please. Okay. 
Is everyone clear with the CIH and yeah? So if, for example, I'm operating in the mandible, just give me a pen, please. Just give me a pen, please. If I'm operating in the mandible and for some reason I want to use the property of cancellous bone, I am I want to place my implant like this. My choice of implant will be DSI, which has an internal hex. But for some reason, if I want to do a now bypass or something like this, I'm not even if, if I want to do it with the two-piece implant. Then my choice of implant with the cortical perforation will be CIH. So we offer both the designs depending upon the usability, whatever you want to use. Now, let me tell you how many of you are now ready for something which is going to blow your minds off and is going to take you to the next level. Just type next level. How many of you want the next level thing which is really going to now get you charged up about whatever i have told you so far just put up an l next level in our whatsapp group now here is where the system combines for you if you place a single piece mu implant if you place a cih implant or if you place a dsi implant the moment you connect your multi unit, all your platforms become one. All your platforms become one. What it means is the moment all your platforms become one, all your prosthetic components, your gingival formers, your lab analog, your impression post, your metal cylinders, everything becomes one, which means that I can buy a DSI implant, lab analog, impression post, multi unit. And I can use it on a CIH. I can buy a CIH multi unit. I can use it on my DSI. I can buy a DSI lab analog and use it on my single piece MU implant. This is taking everyone to the next level where, with one armamentarium, one simplified kit, one spill protocol, all your systems are combined. How many of you feel that this is the true next level? Just put up on the comment box. I am eager to look into your comments. This is going to be revolutionary in your practice where you have very simplified approach. Tell your patients I'm going to do a single uh, immediate loading. And depending upon what you want to do, create a, a cementable or retrievable. In retrievable, you decide you want to put a single piece. You decide whether you want to engage the cortical or place in the cancellous mode. And once you've done that, all your platforms, all your multi units, all your attachments are just one. So you don't require separate, separate armamentariums. Do you think that your armamentarium requirement will go down and your profitability will increase? And this is how you have become a value investor. Do you agree to this? And those who are already having the Israeli systems, you're welcome. It is compatible. Those of you who are having the uh, conical systems, you're welcome in the group because that's compatible. The only thing which will become incompatible with your conical system is your single piece MU. So as I told you before also, to avoid the flowering effect, stick to, stick to the hexagonal implant systems. For some reason, if you buy our products and still don't like it for whatever reasons, the products will not go waste. You can then switch to any other Israel systems available in the market. So it gives you a complete transparency, a complete open system where you can do what you want. And for some reason, if you don't like it, it still does not lock you in the system. You are allowed to move on. How do you find it? Just let me know. How do you find this guy? Please, guys, please let me know that how are you finding it? Do you feel that this is going to be something revolutionary in your practice? If you feel and you agree, just type revolutionary in your practice. <coughs> yes, Dr. Harish, we will, we will show you the different driver or some different modifications you need. Definitely you require different drivers because you are changing the connection. So just the drivers will change. Dr. Chaitanya, just can you open this?
great dr sunil dr meena thank you madam dr sumit dr saurav now let me quickly show you the drivers for the system <coughs> let me quickly show you the drivers so coming to the cih implant this is your kit for the cih implant or any two piece impact r line series implants okay so as you see here okay you have the 2 mm 2.5 and 2.8 drill for most of your cases you require that pilot drill which is similar to your pilot drill of your bezel kit so you can might as well skip this step you require the 2 mm drill and most occasions you are done with the 2.5 drill very rarely you require a third drill which is 2.8 drill so most of the times when i use the 3.75 implant this is my drilling protocol pilot drill twist drill now those of you who have the bezel kit those of whom you have the bezel kit you can definitely use the twist drill from here because this is also 2 and 2.6 mm so all you need to buy is the drivers that's it all you need to buy is the drivers so the drivers again i will show you okay for the cih this is the t driver just open this please meanwhile let me show you so this is the hex driver like any other components this is the hex drivers and your 2.4 hex driver so they are compatible if you are having adin kit norris kits bioline kits Please don't buy it. You can just continue using those same drivers. No need to buy anything additional. In case you want to place the implant with a motor, this is a motor driver. This is your paralleling pin. Okay, and these are just some extra drills, just in case you need some more osteotomies. Okay, so your drilling protocol for your CIH and your DSI implant will be: repeat your pilot drill, your 2.0 drill. and your 2.6 or 2.8 drill depending upon whichever kit you are having for doctors who are having already this bezel kit who are already having the bezel kit doctors thoda dur se lena for doctors who are having the bezel kit already i strongly recommend don't buy so if you are having this kit no need to buy this kit just buy the count drivers if you are having this kit just buy the drivers for this so all you need is the different drivers i hope this is clear and let me just show the drivers also once again quickly <coughs> so the driver for both this implants will if you are doing a driver and ratchet this is your driver and if you want to put it with the hand then do you need a t driver which is this okay so once again i will put up this is your once again i put up these are your implants i think savita aapka shadow aa raha hai why don't you go there and shoot please yeah yeah come closer now thank you Just take like this. Okay. Now, is it clear to all? These are your drivers. That's it. That's it. If you are going to driver and ratchet, you need this driver. If you are using with the hand, you require a T driver. If you are going to place multi-unit implants, you require the driver for the multi-unit. and you require the multi unit hand grip that's it and if you are going to place the single piece implant if you are going to ratchet it you require the driver for the ratcheting and you require the hand grip in case you want to put it with the hand this finishes your implant armamentarium 
the drills are common see this the drills are common which means just by understanding what you want to place this is the only drills which you probably require depending on your situation for your conventional implants or your two piece implants obviously you will require one extra driver which is the hex driver for giving putting all your components okay so let me just show you one more time okay just see this all the drills one two three very rarely a four drill required very very rarely otherwise you're done with two or three drills you have all your implants two piece two piece single piece implants your drivers for it if you want to do with a driver and ratchet you have it and if you do with the hand you have it and this completes your implantology all you need to focus now is which implant you want to select and you can always now the here comes the support part of it which i was telling you that we have such a wonderful community if you are confused as a beginner what you can do is just take a opg x-ray take clinical pictures put it in the group you will get a detailed treatment plan if you are do having doubt about drilling protocol initially a drilling protocol and then you just place the implants and you take it out but this is not all friends do you want one more amazing thing from Trisa Enterprises, just say bring it on and I'm going to tell you something which is even more mind blowing than what you have heard so far. Just type bring it on, B-I-O. Dr. Jolly is asking, do you have a different driver for MUBCS? Yes, madam, because the moment you have a multi-unit, your driver will change. So I already showed you all the drivers and everything. Trisa Enterprise has come up with this unique scheme which uh, Dr. Chaitanya is just going to put up in the group wherein you can get the mentor support sitting in your clinic. The moment you buy some particular number of implants, let's say you have a full mouth case. Friends, let's, let's do a very open discussion right now. Let's say you have a full mouth case and with due respect not to put anyone down, those of whom we are not able to do, we call the consultants, they, they charge us two, three, four lakh rupees, whatever you're paying them. Trisa Enterprise is a scheme wherein you buy the implants. If I'm not mistaken, one, 125 implants. The prices are 2500 per implant, which I already told you. So if you're buying 125 implants, 2500 per implant, the mentor comes at your doorstep to do the full mouth implants. And I, it's okay if you're in Delhi, Bangalore, wherever you are. The mentor will come with you holding hands. He will get the implants, make you do the implants. <coughs> you have only paid for the implants, mind you. You have not paid for the consultant. You are charging the patient. So if any one of you is smart, you are charging the patient 3-4 lakh rupees. You have already recovered the money for 125 implants. You have developed the skill. You have done the case and your remaining 100 implants are lying with you to place after your work with the mentor. So this is something really amazing mentor at home program wherein Trisa Enterprise is supporting you in your cases. It's supporting you in your cases. You just have to buy the implants at the price. We are not charging for the mentor. The mentor will come and help you. MDS doctors. We are not sending technicians. We are, uh, we are sending trained MDS doctors with more than eight years of experience to your doorstep. What more can be given? A perfect implant, amazing price, and with the price, a hand holding. What else do you want? Isn't this amazing, friends? Just let me know if you find this amazing. Stop the share, please. Uh, Dr. Jolly, uh, let us not get into too much of details. Let us stick to the medical part. But regarding the mentor program, if you are interested, uh, you can definitely get in touch with Trisa Enterprise. I will put up the number of Trisa Enterprise in the Zoom link also. Those of you who probably don't have access to WhatsApp, it is plus 91 9321533493. That is the number of Trisa Enterprise. So those of you who are interested in 
getting handholded with the mentors you are most welcome to get in touch with risa enterprise so apart from the product apart from the books apart from the courses this is one very big thing where you will directly get the mentor support and i think that will take your game to the next level once the hand holding is done how many of you are finding what i told you in my first slide that from next onwards we will only attend webinars and lectures which are giving us the value towards our goal which is increasing our revenue and taking the stagnancy away from it do you agree that this 45 when i think it's gone more than 1 hour now do you agree that what i just told you the concept of value proposition are you able to see where not only from an amazing system a simple system you are getting much beyond that apart from support you are also getting hand holding how many of you find this amazing i want to now show you what else can be done with this system we are not done yet there is much much more to this how many of you find this is going to be revolutionary and practice changing uh clinically sir uh, doc dr one plus is asking what is the difference clinically after sir you place the multi unit on the single piece on a two piece implant is all in the same there is no difference it is just depending upon the commercial aspects and what you want to do for the case because obviously when you place a two piece implant with the multi unit your cost will range between 4500 to 5000 rupees depending upon what offer you are getting but when you are doing the same work with the single piece with mu you are playing in 2500 rupees this what we what you have to give in the process for single piece with mu more technique sensitive develop more skills if you feel your skills are lacking lacking you are not sure you want you want to do immediate loading you want to do drill and loading place the conventional implant let it heal and then take the steps forward the best thing you can do is discuss cases before doing and that will really simplify your life and i'm available to help you guys out in your journey right so can we just continue with the next part which is the prosthetic part so just let me uh, just come give me the paper and pen please so now let us say let us say now let us say now how do we identify what to do let us say now are you able to see my writing pad so i have a case yes, over sir. here lower jaw single missing tooth okay reduce interarch space all i will do is i will place my dsi let it heal and make a screw retain prosthesis i have a case over here wherein i have a resolved jaw i have a resolved jaw i can place my basal implants i have a case over here where my sinus is pneumatized i can place basal implants i have a case wherein there is good bone sinuses are not pneumatized i can place my dsi implants like conventional implants give screw retain prosthesis i have a case wherein i don't want to get into the nitty gritty of selecting a multi unit getting them all parallel doing the prosthetic i will place the single piece mu implants drilling protocol let me just quickly again share drilling protocol basal maxilla mandible basal means kos bcs 
Okay, KOS for basal you need to engage the opposing cortical. Here it is not compulsory to engage the opposing cortical. For the KOS drilling protocol, 1.8 in the maxilla, rarely 2.0 millimeter drill. In the mandible, again 1.8 and 2 millimeter. If the bone is soft, you pick up 4.0 or 4.2 implant. If the bone is hard, you pick up 3.75 implant. For KOS and for BCS, if the bone is soft, you pick up 4.5. If the bone is hard, you pick up 3.5. That's it. As simple as this. I want all of you to screenshot this. I want all of you to screenshot this and keep it for you. Just type done when you're done and I will proceed. <coughs> Has all of you made a screenshot of this? Just put up done so that I can proceed. Okay. So allow Savita to be in the screen. Savita, you can say hi. You are also in the screen. Okay. And she's shooting so that we can give you multiple screens. Are all of you done? Please let me know. And we will proceed with the next part. Great. Now the drilling protocol. Now the drilling protocol for BCS KOS MU. So BCS MU compulsory to perforate the opposing cortical for the maxilla mandible. 1.8 drill. Okay. For the maxilla, for the mandible compulsory 1.8 and 2.0 millimeter twist drill. For the KOS MU, make sure to drill 4 millimeter more. For the maxilla, you need only 1.8 mm drill. In the mandible, if the bone is soft, you need only 1.8 mm. In extraction socket, you need only 1.8 mm. In all other situations where bone is hard, you require a 2 millimeter drill. All of you, please screenshot this and let me know if I can move ahead and you are clear with this. Are all of you enjoying it? Yes, Dr. Varun is asking, what about width more? Excellent question, Dr. Varun. Thank you for asking. If the width, which happens only in your basal, so in the basal implants, you have 5.5 and 7 millimeter implants. In this group, in your first group of implants, if you have an implant which is 5.5 millimeter, then in only in that state, you require a 2.6 millimeter drill, half length. Thank you, Dr. Varun, for asking. Only for your 5.5 millimeter wide diameter implant, you require half length 2.6 millimeter drill. And this implant is available only in your single piece BCS and QS. Thank you, Dr. Varun, for asking this question. Okay, very relevant. So, can I continue with the drilling protocol for two piece CIH and DSI implant? Pilot drill. This is your 1.8 mm drill in your basal kit. If you have a separate kit, then you just call it a lens drill, 2 millimeter drill, and then 2.6 millimeter if you have a basal kit, or if you have bought a separate kit, it will be 2.8 mm drill. Rarely you require the next drill, which is 3.2 millimeter drill, halfway if the bone is hard, D D1 or D2 kind of bone. That's it. And this is same for maxilla as well as mandible. Is everyone now clear with the drilling protocol? Just type clear if you are clear with the drilling protocol. Simple drilling protocol, thought process. How to Now if you are placing pterygoid doing now bypass, already we have spoken about it, it's the same. Here we are just playing around with the armamentarium. The machine, the equipment is helping you to improve the game. What happens is if you have to do a direct sinus lift, you're creating space for the implant. Here we are reversing the situation. Here the implant is helping you. 
If the bone is soft, you are placing basal implant. If the bone is soft, you are placing basal. If you want retrievable, you are using MU. So we are making the machine work for us, not vice versa. We are not making you work for the machine. We are not asking you to do a ridge plate. Not asking you to do a sinus lift for the for the implant. The implant is doing the work for us. Are you able to see see the paradigm shift? Are you able to understand how revolutionary this is going to be? <laughs> Can we move ahead? Just side move ahead if you are clear, so we can start discussing the prosthetic part. Top the screen share. Great, awesome, awesome. Trust me, guys, from my years of experience, I have earlier taken lectures for Aden implants in 2013-14. That all type of conventional implant courses you can think about sinus lift course, ridge split course, all on four course gone internationally for the courses spend lakhs of rupees. Then basal implant courses from various mentors, and I have used my years of experience and knowledge to now create a revolutionary system which is helping us. We are not going to work for the company. The machines are going to help us. The system is going to help us. That is our objective. The system is going to help each and every one of us to handle all kinds of cases in the way we want to do with stress-free environment. Can we start with the prosthetic part of the system now? Any confusion so far? Anyone? Any questions so far? Before I get into the prosthetics, please let me know. Any anyone wants to just raise a hand and ask a question live? Anyone wants to ask a question? Please let me know, or just you can put up the question in the WhatsApp group also. No problem, sir. Can DSI? Yes, sir. Hundred percent DSI implants can be loaded immediately. Provided you have got good torque in the maxilla, the minimum torque you should get is forty-five ncm to sixty ncm. In the mandible, you should get minimum of forty-five ncm. You should have good implant, inter-implant distance should be good, and you are good to go. And you will see with the design. <coughs> Thank you, Doctor Rohit, for asking. Let's say that you have planned the case with the DSI implant. Sorry, please come here. And you did not get torque. You have two options. One option is you immediately switch to delayed loading, which means you place the implant and you ask the patient to do a delayed loading. Second is you place more implants and connect the ones which are getting the good torque with the temporary prosthesis. And later on in your permanent prosthesis, the one which we have healed, which you have not used initially, you can connect. The third option is you can switch from the DSI system to the CIH system and engage the cortical and get the torque. So it's all about you having the armamentarium. If you are having the bullets, there is no way you will lose the war. Doctor Ankur, retrievability with cement retained, you have to do with intraoral welding. There are two other techniques which are mentioned in the textbook, but I think that is not the discussion today. So I'll have to skip it. But yes, there are retrievability, solu retrievability solutions with single piece implants also, but beyond the scope of today's discussion. Doctor Atul is asking, sir, CI DSI drilling protocol once more. Uh, Doctor Atul, I am going to put up this entire today's lecture uh, on my YouTube. I request you to just uh, you know go through the YouTube channel that time, and you will surely be able to revise it. <clears throat> Doctor Sumit is asking, can we use compressive in the anterior mandible? Choice of implant 
is not compressive or BCH. So we remember we, the bone decides which implant is going to go. If you find there is enough cancellous bone, you can compress, use KOS implant. If you feel that you want to take support from the cortical bone, bone is missing, use any kind of implant which I just mentioned right now, which can engage the cortical bone. Very simple. Can we use QS MU for single tooth replacement? Absolutely, yes. All the rules which we have been talking about for our basal implants apply to your MU implants. It is just with the retrievability options. Absolutely, yes. Dr. Sokril is asking BCS MU collar height 1.5. For us, we, as a protocol, see, company is providing both 1.5 and 3 mm. But as a mentor, I recommend use only 1.5 mm. Keep my idea is to make your armamentarium as less as possible. So use only 1.5. Thank you, Dr. Sharan Prakash. Thank you. Thank you for motivating me. And this comments like this motivate me to share more for all of you. Is MU bendable? Yes, 100% bendable. I'm soon going to share with you uh, the bending video in our WhatsApp group. So MU bending, how you need to do is you once your MU implant is placed, once your MU, uh, just come closer, please. Are you all able to see my MU implant? Once the MU implant is placed, you need to connect this cylinder to the MU implant. Okay, now this is a multi-purpose cylinder, which means that you will be able to bend it and you can later on use them for your prosthetics also. Connect it and then on top of it, you connect your bending tool or bending driver and then bend the implants. This video I'm going to show or put up in the WhatsApp group very soon. The technique of bending the MU implants, but yes, the MU implants are bendable. The KOS implants, the KOS implant is not bendable. KOS MU is not bendable. The BCS MU is bendable. It makes sense because your KOS implant, you're going to put in areas where there is good bone. So you wouldn't want to put it in the wrong way and bend it. So just place it correctly. And wherever you're placing the tilted implants, which is the BCS in a reserve jaw, you will require. And if you're so particular, you can even combine MU and two-piece implants. So let's say I can put MU implants over here and only the pterygoid, I will put a uh, two-piece CIH implant and connect the multi-unit. So you can connect DSI with basal. You can connect MU with basal. You can connect BCS with KOS. Completely, you are able to connect whatever you want, wherever you want. And most importantly, you can decide if you want to do a digital or a manual protocol, which is now what I'm going to show you. How many of you are excited now to see the impression protocols for this. If it break, you can, uh, I'm not getting your question, Dr. Moni. If it break means what will break? First thing, it doesn't break, but I'm not getting, MU will never break, sir. MU will not break, nothing to worry. MU will not break. You can switch off this. So how many of you are excited to see the digital and manual protocol, which is now going to level up the game or in fact, take it to the next level as far as prosthetics is concerned. How many of you want to see the next level prosthetic steps? Just type BIO, bring it on. And let me just put up my presenter back. So all this we have discussed already the bending. So the use of the moment you place a KOS implant, the moment you place a BCS MU, 
or you pay, place a two piece conventional DSI or a CHI implant and connect the multi unit. All your platforms have become same. All your platforms have become same. For some reason, if you're doing delayed loading, you can go for this abutments which are available. Straight abutment, angled abutment with the collars like what we normally order from any other company and use it. So if I do delayed loading, I straight away I order the abutments and make my crown and bridge work. But if I do immediate loading, as I already told you, multi units is what you should do to avoid crystal bone loss and then continue the steps. I hope this much is clear to all. Can we proceed? How the platforms and how entire implantology is now getting into one zone. Okay. So the moment we connect the multi units, we prevent the bone loss around the implant abutment junction, which in QS MU happens automatically. And the moment you connect the multi units, you have shifted the internal hex to an external platform. You have shifted the internal hex of the implant to an external platform. And let's go to the prosthetic steps. Multi units also the beautiful part about the multi units is <coughs> those of you who have worked with multi units will understand that rarely you get a 60 degree multi unit with a 6 mm as well as a 2 mm collar. So the complete versatility is there. You have the choice of selecting 17, 30, 45, 60 degree. You have the various collar right 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So this will give you complete versatility by selecting the multi units. Once you have connected your multi units to your implants, you will require an impression post and the metal cylinders and lab analog, which are interchangeable, which are interchangeable, which means the DSI multi unit lab analog, you can put it on your QS MU and vice versa and on your CIH. So that is the beauty of the system. And now you can go for making a manual impression, which means now here I'm going to give you another brilliant tip right now. How many of you want another tip, which is going to simplify your job again? Some people are just continuously typing, bring it on. I'm already talking. <laughs> Okay, so just relax. I think, yeah, we are, but I will definitely share this amazing tip with you. After you placed your implants, they are all one and the same. Now you will not come to know whether this implant is a two piece implant or a single piece MU. Can you make out? Once you're done with that, you connect your metal cylinders. And you can prep them like crown and bridge work. You can prep them like crown and bridge work. Take a rubber base impression and cement your prosthesis on it. The, the prosthesis will have a hole. In future, whenever you want to remove your temporary prosthesis, all you need to do is unscrew your temporary cylinders and your entire prosthesis is out. This is one of the fastest way without making impression to create retrievability processes with R line MU implants. How many of you found this tip amazing? Creating retrievable processes, crew retained without actually making impressions. Or I would say an open tray impression, which is time consuming. Let me rephrase my word without actually making a time consuming open tray impression. All you're doing is connecting the cylinder, crown prepping them, making an impression, cementing your prosthesis. At a later stage, just unscrew the cylinders out. You will be back to a retrievable prosthesis. <coughs> For those of you, you want to do in the classical way and not skip corners. You can connect your impression post. So sometimes, you know, we also use this welding wires, which we are having or any wire like this to get more accuracy in our impression. You can even use a, a pattern resin or anything else. 
lot of for those who want to see there are a lot of videos available online just google for open tray impression technique you will find tons of videos okay so i'm not wasting my time here you connect your impression post on your implants and then you just take so these are your impression posts on your implants and you make a rubber base impression that's it done now after you made your rubber base impressions you send the lab guy your impression post now here you have to remember that the impression post for a multi unit will be different from your impression post for an implant remember this this is true for any system the moment you put a multi unit your impression post will be different than your impression post and the lab analogs for your regular implants once you place them your lab person will cast he will provide a jig trial like any other stage you take put up this jig trial in the patient's mouth verify it make sure that you have taken the correct impression if it is not correct you just have to cut the pattern resin and put the pattern resin back give it to the lab guy he will send you the metal trial and once you are done with the metal trial he will give you a retrievable finished prosthesis which needs to be screwed in trust me guys this steps may look complicated for the newcomer but once you get a hang of it it's very very easy to do this after you place the implants connect the impression post make an impression send it to the lab guy get a jig verification trial you will you put it in the mouth screw it see if everything is fitting if it's not fitting cut your pattern resin rejoin the pattern resin with the pattern resin in the mouth send it to the lab guy he will send you a metal trial everything is okay finish that's how easy it is and here you see no terigoids no now bypass simple realistic work with screw retained single piece mu implants done very very simple okay another case digital technique okay just connect the scan bodies now those of you <coughs> who don't have the scan bodies ask any of your local lab guy most guys have lab scan bodies of edin all you need to do here is another master trick remove this screw up from the metal cylinder and place it in the scan body and now you have got a scan body without buying i'm giving you tips for not to buy even the scan body of dsi system just take any edin scan body from the lab guy remove the screw of that uh, scan body take the cylinder remove the screw place the screw inside your scan body of your edin norris or whichever system you have been using and now you have a scan body ready free of cost scan it send the scan to the lab i'll show you the scanning video now okay so this is how the scanning goes very easy and simple less than 2 or 3 minutes done okay and now take a manual bite just take a manual bite i prefer to do a manual bite along with my scan bite that helps in more accuracy and then next steps all same get the metal trim and fit the prosthesis in the patient's mouth as simple as this not very difficult very easy to do a uh, doctor happiness uh, is asking in between multi unit implants the single piece will be cemented how will that be no sir the moment we have multi unit implants you have this cylinder you have cemented it but when you unscrew your prosthesis will come out with the cylinder so it's very easy there nothing to worry i think you just if you do it once you will realize that it's very easy to just open up the screws so it's exactly 530 like what i mentioned in the group and from my end i have tried my level best i have been shouting here at the top of my voice in excitement since the past 2 years trying to communicate as much as possible about this revolutionary system of course those of you who are interested to know more you are welcome in our upcoming batch in month end you are welcome to join us where you will see me working and if you want you can place implants in the patients along with me in detail prosthetic steps 
digital protocols you are most welcome for those of you who want one on one we have the residency programs also you are most welcome to join our residency program if you don't like me for some reason you can join any of get the mentor at home program where our mentors can help you do this work what you have just seen right now if you have cases you can always put them in the whatsapp group and i will try my level best to answer i cannot probably answer immediately because i might be working but whenever possible i will definitely answer thank you thank you dr atul for appreciating the hard work which we are putting in for all of you guys dr ankur for one molar replacement do we need to place sir if you are placing a conventional implant you just need one if you are placing thank you for asking see if you are doing basal implants you need to follow rules of basal implant if you are doing conventional follow rules of conventional implants in terms of number of implant position of implants and all those things what i have simplified is keeping the drilling protocol same the kit same and getting the platforms uniform wherein then you can easily switch from whatever you want to do whether you want to do ci dsi or mu cases all have the same platform that is what i have done for you explain to the company guys what we as doctors want and really simplified our armament to you Dr. Sumit is asking. Uh, thank you, Dr. Rajesh sir. Thank you for appreciating. Dr. Sumit is asking when to use acrylic prosthesis and PFM. Sir, when to use which prosthesis? I think I can almost give another lecture on this. I'm really sorry. Uh, right now, it's too extensive a topic to discuss. But I think in one of the Q and A sessions on our uh, inner circle, we have discussed the choice of prosthesis. I think. uh if you just go through uh, youtube you may find the link to that channel when to use that prosthesis for this reason i request always not to miss the q and a sessions keep your wednesday 3 to 5 free for all this kind of informative sessions thank you dr imanshi thank you for appreciating if there are any more questions you are most welcome and uh, i am soon planning to uh just i want one thing from facebook ka video bana hai can you put up i am just putting up one facebook link right now in the whatsapp group i want to know all of you from all of you what were your five key learnings today this is the homework for you unless you put it down it's just going to evaporate when all of you start putting up different different points is going to remain on the link for reference and if you have missed out something you can definitely go back so i am right now putting up a facebook link i am putting up right now apne thank you dr sumit so i am just putting up one facebook link right now where i want to read your comments on what were your five key learnings before i give you the last and final golden tip for today and that is related to practice management not related to implants how many of you want the golden tip for today for all those as a gift from me who waited right till the end of this session one last tip before we all sign off uh, dr mulidharan yes you can connect the bcs and the dsi in fact it will be advantageous where you connect the isoelastic implant to a rigid implant what will happen in the process is the isoelastic implant will also get the splinting effect so yes you can connect it any any more questions related to the implants meanwhile if any one of you has please let me know uh, dr sumit uh, is asking sir you fix material is okay with acrylic prosthesis i'm guessing you fix is a uh, acrylic material i'm sorry i'm not aware i will definitely dr sumit can you put up some photo or some literature or you know the box of you fix what is it exactly is it a resin cement or is it a acrylic what is it please can you just put it up in the whatsapp group for doctors who are watching this on the facebook once again i request you to join our inner circle whatsapp group
I want all of you to click on this Facebook link right now and put up your three key learnings for today. Five key learnings right away. Today was a very long session. Just all of you put up your five key learnings and closing this group right now so that we don't get unnecessary comments right now till we all put up the five key learnings before we get back to the golden tip on practice management. So I want all of you to put up your five key learnings on the Facebook link provided. Okay, just put up your five key learnings. And I'm going to tell you one golden tip for practice management in a while. I'm just waiting to see the key learnings and we discuss any other doubts, if any, before we all take the final tip from me. I'm just waiting to see the comments on the Facebook about your five key learnings. And if any other doubts are there, you can definitely put up on our WhatsApp group. If any other doubts are there, and I'm going to now give you some more practice management related tips, which will really level up your game to the next level. If any doubts are there, you please put up on the WhatsApp group. In the Facebook, I want all of you. See, guys, unless you do small activities, it's not going to help you. It's not going to motivate me to conduct more such sessions. So I want all of you to share your five key learnings for to, from today's masterclass in a circle on the Facebook link, which we have just given. And any more uh, doubts are there, you can put up on the WhatsApp group. So please use the Facebook link which we have given to put up your five key learnings. Uh, Dr. Chaitali, FB link is not opening. Can you can you just share a new link, Dr. Chaitali? Just delete the previous link, please. No problem. Let's not. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So Cosmodent Clinic, 5K Learning, Hazel Free Implant System, Economical MU Availability with BCS Implant, different implant can be connected together. Mentor Guidance. Thank you. Uh, now, one more problem which all of us are having in our implantology practice right now is whenever we propose a very expensive treatment plan to the patient, let's say 50,000, 1 lakh, 1 and a half lakh. Patients might get convinced, but then financing becomes easier. How many of you have seen the iPhone ad buy iPhone on 0% interest free EMI? How many of you have seen this ad? Please let me know. Seen the ad, not seen the ad in the WhatsApp group. 
Thank you, Dr. Jolly. Thank you for putting up your comment. How many of you have seen the iPhone ad? Buy iPhone 0% zero interest free EMI. How many of you have seen the iPhone ad? Let me just give you one amazing tip for your patients who probably agree and then money is the issue. Dr. Priyanka is asking uh, what we use multi unit will go 4 millimeter more to the length, but when ridge is resolved, then madam, then you have to use BCS implant. Very simple. The QS implant we use only when you have good height and width of the implant. So put a 10 mm implant, you drill till 13 or 14 millimeters. But I'm not saying drill in the ball. See what happens is when you're drilling, you will see the drill depth. There is a very good question, in fact. What happens is a lot of people have mistaken that you need to drill 14 mm to put a 10 mm implant. I'm not saying that. When you're doing flapless surgeries, mind you, you're going through the gingiva. So you require to accommodate for the thickness of gingiva, which is normally at least 1.5 to 2 millimeters. And another 1.5 mm collar we are using, which I want it to be slightly submerged so that the collar is not visible. This is for aesthetic reasons. That is why I said that when you're drilling, you drill 4 millimeter more. When I say 4 millimeter more, does not mean you go deep 4 by 4 millimeter. I said that for 10 mm implant, don't stop at 10 length. You go till 14 length. I hope it's clear. Thank you, Dr. Priyanka, for asking. And I hope this is clear now. And it's no more confusing to anyone who has been pondering on this question. Yogesh, Dr. Yogesh, as long as I'm alive and I am able to talk, and deliver, I will try my best to help my friends. So you can also pray for some better life for me also. But I'm sure that once Dr. Yogesh, you are an expert, you will no longer require continuous matter support. It's a matter of maybe three months, six months. The uh, implant system is so easy. I think it's going to really Make it very easy. I don't think you will need me very long. Trust me on this. And that's what I want that you people also take the mental ahead. And I'm sure a lot of you will be interested in our master's program, which I cannot dwell a lot of details right now. And you might be also keen on becoming mentors in the future. Thank you, Dr. Jolly. Okay, so let's let's see, let's see. How many of you are <clears throat> finding resistance when you feel that the patient has agreed on the treatment, but one 1.5 lakh, 50,000, you know, is like kind of struggling over there. And how many of you have seen the iPhone ad? Seen the ad, not seen that quickly. <coughs> Now, Dr. Swapnil has put up five key learnings, one kit, all work, retrievability, drilling, prosthetic, cost effective. Perfect, Dr. Swapnil. This is this was the exact crux of today. Right. So where I'm coming to with the iPhone ad is imagine the no world's number one phone also has to provide a payment facility to their patient, to their customers. Similarly, Sometime back, I had put up the EMI option for all of you. I'm going to put up the number again right now. For those of you who have not contacted Stuti, I highly recommend you contact her at least one because what I do for my patients, see what happens is we offer a 1.5 lakh, uh, you know, treatment to our patient. Patient says, I will do it. 50, 60,000 he will do. After that, the remaining 10, 20, 30, 40,000 is struggling. We finished the work. So many balance payments are there, but the moment you get into this EMI system, how it works is 
the app will sanctions the patient's payment, which means let's say patient has to pay one and a half lakh rupees. That money is sanctioned and it there is some six to eight percent reduction and the remaining amount comes into your bank account immediately within four to six hours. You are done. Your payment is complete. The patient pays in installment to the company. So those of you who have not taken this into consideration, I highly recommend we are putting up Stuti's number right now from Savin. Just get in touch with Stuti and she will guide you about the more details regarding how EMI, according to me, I have already put up a video, but you can even speak to her. And I'm soon going to have a practice management session also very fast, which will take your game to the next level. So I hope with this final tip, uh, it's almost now close to two and a half hours. Now we have been speaking and talking. I hope all of you enjoyed today's session and uh, hope we can sign off. Uh, happy holidays to all of you and we'll keep learning, keep progressing. Men in the community, keep, uh, you know, uh, becoming vibrant, uh, communicate. And that's the only way we can, all of us can go at format. Until uh, next time, all of you, thank you very much.